Hey YouTube, Don here. Today we'll talk about why Enzo is an absolute must have for your roster. Whether you're new to the game or looking to optimize your playstyle, Enzo brings some serious utility to the table. In this video I'll break down how to get Enzo, why he's your go to for farming encrypted vaults, and we'll touch briefly on his combat capabilities. If you find this video helpful at all, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button for more tips and tricks. Let's dive in. So why do you need Enzo? While he is an incredible asset in combat, we're not really going to delve into that too much in this video. But to give him credit, Enzo will provide himself and your team a range of powerful buffs, including infinite ammo for all your guns, a significant increase in firearm attack power, boosted critical hit rate, and increased weak point damage. And with the right mods, Enzo can deliver even more buffs. But fair warning, those mods are not easy or fun to farm as they only drop from the ultra precise encrypted vaults on very specific maps. So be prepared for some grind. And normally this is the part of the video where I describe a specific build and you know what makes Enzo really tick, but not today. What we're talking about today is what makes Enzo so special and that's his passive effect with the encrypted vaults which requires no build at all. Enzo can help you farm the most Kuiper per hour in the game. And he's also fantastic for gathering rare crafting resources Vault farming using Enzo is a game changer. Vaults can spawn on any map, and to find them, just spam your scan button, tab on PC. The scanner will give you two different beeps. A low pitch beep means there's a vault nearby, but you're not facing the right direction, whereas a high pitch beep means you're facing the right way. These beeps do not indicate how far away you are from a vault, just whether or not you're facing the right direction or not. Personally, I love farming vaults in Timberfall and Lumberyard. Both of these are in Vespers. And if you want my opinion though, use one of the many online maps and follow one of those instead. Opening vaults gives you rare resources and a ton of Kuiper shards. Not just for you, but for your entire party. To maximize efficiency, your whole party should be Enzo. And here's why. Grey vaults give resources, but no Kuiper. Blue vaults give more resources and around 25,000 Kuiper. Purple vaults, otherwise known as ultra precise, give even more resources and around 75,000 Kuiper. The issue is to open them you need code breakers. These drop from mobs, so when these run out I think it's best to go and farm areas where there are lots of mobs to kill. Echo lands is my go to spot as it's also great for farming gold and Kuiper not just code breakers. And again, to maximize that efficiency, bring three of Renzo's all with their own code breakers. Make the most of your code breakers and make them go as far as they can. Moving on is how to obtain Enzo. It can be a little bit tricky, but if you have friends that also need Enzo, team up with them and farm together. It's gonna pay off later. To find the materials, here's all the different locations. Personally, I'm a big fan of Void Rector farming over missions. I find it a lot faster especially when you're using Sharon to infiltrate and especially when it's normal mode and you're getting two times amorphous material drops. But of course the choice is yours. Enzo is a key character for anyone serious about progression and farming in the game. With his buffs, combat prowess and farming efficiency he is a game changer. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all again very very soon. Bye bye.